welcome to the Bike Magazine Bible of Bike Tests. I'm here with my colleagues Squirrel Phillips, Stone Hudson, and Reginald Felcher. I'm Stanley Rooney, and we're here talking about the Ibis Mojo HD. Why are all mountain bikes now only 27.9 pounds? Where are the other five pounds? What are we missing by only having such a lightweight, bitchin' bike? Squirrel Phillips. Well, Stanley, I think that uh, the carbon frame on this bicycle is a good reason for that. Um, I, I thought this bicycle handled fantastically. It was very stable, it was very stiff, and it was also quite nimble, something you don't often see with those other two attributes. I think we should be asking not exactly where it is, but what, well, we, what, well, not what we've lost, but more what we've gained from this oh. bike. I mean, I think uh, Squirrel there uh, alluded a lot to this, the stiffness in this frame. And that was quite something we really did notice. It's a very powerful frame. You can put this frame exactly where you want it, a very rigid frame. I'm more about aesthetics, and God, this is a beautiful bike. I just look at the lines on there, it's sort of classic, but the other thing is its versatility. Did you know that you could just, with changing the Limbo chips, which is sort of the shock mount uh, hardware, you could put a shorter shock on there, and you could have it as a 140 travel, sort of like Uber trail bike, or you could run it the way it is now, as a 160 really burly, sort of all mountain machine. So the versatility is just amazing. I personally am quite a fan of the brand itself, Ibis. When I was in middle school in 18, 1994, I wrote a letter to a gentleman I thought was named Chuck Ibis. He wrote back to me personally. I later found out that it was a fictional character, but that is something that attracts me to this brand. They're not one of these big five companies. They're something that can do exactly what people want out there. They want something that is light, that is responsive, that's fun, that climbs extremely well. The, uh, the, the DW link, among several other linkages, this is one of my favorites. I mashed this thing uphill, platforms, clip-ins, anything. It was responsive, it was efficient, and I got to the top of the hill faster than all of you motherfuckers. So going, going back to what Stone was saying, he was talking about the aesthetics of the bike, but there is there is some things that the aesthetics bring that kind of limits it. There is not really much of a, a good spot for a water bottle on this bicycle. Bloody hell, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. nowhere to carry any fluids at all. Yeah, there's nowhere you can carry any sort of water, water bottle or champagne or even a flask on this bike. So you're gonna be pocketing it the whole bloody way, I think. Is there one of the down tube? Also, there are no ISSCG mounts, but I hear that the brand has a defense and a rebuttal for that. Absolutely. You know, the, it just seems like an oversight, but in fact, the lower link would, would just wouldn't mesh with a normal ISCG mount. So they worked with MRP, and MRP has created a custom guide. So you can, in fact, have a chain guide and a little taco bash as well. This is something that all of our very diverse and esteemed colleagues on this show would all love to own themselves. Oh. Everybody enjoyed uphill and downhill. I think we've brought a lot to light. Maybe we've shaded a few things in darkness, but I'm quite glad that we've had such an informative conversation about the Ibis Mojo HD, one of our favorite bikes in the category. It's fabulous. Fantastic bike. Fantastic bike. Bloody great.